Imagine having one kid as a single single mom, but two kids or three kids. Imagine four kids. Yeah, that would be or five. In, that'd be insane. Yeah, because like for me, I if I'm at home, which is my little guy, I don't eat supper until he goes to bed. It's just easier <laughs> yeah. that way yeah. that I can just I can eat whatever I want once he goes to bed. Try, I mean, try cooking supper when he's still awake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my move is I just eat the same thing they do, and so I just make extra of it. Yeah. So if, if mom's gone and we're having chicken nuggets and mac and cheese, I'm having chicken nuggets and mac and cheese and I'm making a lot of it and they're just eating off my plate. Yeah, that's not that's actually not a bad move. But I mean, also just like going to the gym. Not happening. Or I mean, even just like, hey, when, when do you get a chance? If What if you want to go golfing? Let's go golfing. Yep. Hi. I don't know how you're supposed to do that either. Yeah, you get a fucking babysitter to golf. That's why that's why. Um, Clubhouse daycares, I think, could mm -hmm. potentially make a run for it. I think it, there's got to be someone has got to have something like that. Didn't we Google it? I don't know. I don't think we did Google it because otherwise we would have remembered. Mm. I don't country clubs do like some like very nice. But actually do, daycare? don't they? You're yeah. Like drop in situations. Yeah. the one, At least the one that I used to work at, they did. They had like one person on staff 24 seven, like a little kid's room with, you know, 24 seven. Well, wow. okay, let's, I mean, <laughs> I mean, cause that'd be, if I was a country club member, I would consider doing that just because then all my golf and my daycare costs are lumped into one. Mm -hmm. Cause daycare is not fucking cheap. No. Well, yeah. Well, it also, uh, 24 seven, not true. Just open during the days. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like actual daycare. It was just like a little room like that kids went in yeah, and they, and gyms they do that. Yeah. And they yeah, paid like yeah. a 15 year old to look after him. You know, I mean, if, to unpack that even more though, like who need who would need the daycare more though like country club member or a single mom or a single dad who's just like trying to go out and so here's what you do golf. if you're a single mom or a single dad just work at the country club that's true work yeah. at the country club yeah do you or, get a membership for working there when you work there jake well no because you don't well yes and no so you don't get to play like regular hours or anything like that um but like monday mornings are usually blocked off uh mm, like so they keep the pores to monday Yes. Yeah. yeah like, oh, what are the poor people doing? Uh, they're, they're playing golf this morning. It's Monday. Yeah. yeah. At least at like the country club I worked at, it was like they they only let you late open one morning so that the grounds crew could go through. But then you just had to play through the grounds crew doing mm -hmm. their whole thing. They only let you on right after the greens were aerated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, is there like a history behind the country club? I, have we ever have we ever looked that up at all? I don't know if we have. I think that's how golf started. Was country club? Yeah, I mean, the, the stuffy, pretentious, yeah, uh, rich people. But I think like just the idea of golf was never wasn't public for a long, long time. Like you had to have paid your dues to get into the club. Like I don't think it started like like baseball did. You know where it started? Wasn't it started in the military and they needed something to do on bases and stuff? Baseball? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I thought if anyone would know it was you. I don't think it's so. Sure as hell I, not me. No, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Nope. Yeah, I've I'm, never heard that before. But. I'm like eighty percent sure that's how it started. That <laughs> other twenty percent is the typical breakfast ball guess. Yeah, um, yeah. but I, golf didn't start like that. <laughs> golf started with like you got to know someone to get to play. Do you think it's? Uh, I mean, in terms of like the snobby, stuffy, pretentious individual who used to golf back in like let's just say the '30s, '40s, whatever. Um, I mean, we talked prices last week, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Was there anyone that uh, that agreed with with like our take on the prices of things, range balls, clubhouse items, shit like that? I didn't see any comments on it, but we could we could yeet up a reel soon, see what they say. Yeah, I was just I, I was just curious because I feel like things are are like kind of trending back that way. It was it was Dgen, it was it was for sure Dgen golf two years ago. Yep. Without a doubt, it was taken over the industry, and now we're we're slowly migrating back, which doesn't it doesn't that doesn't really sit. Well we just got to make sure we we keep that needle where it is, because I know it is it yeah, is leaning it the street. Yep, it's head it's headed towards back to being pretentious, and we just we as a collective group need to keep it where it is. Do you think there? I mean, do you think there's a group of vigilantes out there that are 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 keeping that needle where it's? At? I I think the basis of all these. Uh, golf course fights that i've been seeing online <laughs> is the D, it's like the dgens versus the country club yes yeah. it could potentially be what it is mm -hmm. yeah real greasers versus the social and then type and situation. then yeah. our crew 
the non-pretentious, non-degenerates are the ones filming. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I know we've talked about this before, but maybe there's an answer to it now. Why are, like, why are people getting so worked up on the golf course? Dude, even that watching. That it leads to fist fights. Or did you see the most recent one that's <laughs> yes. being memed all over the place? Guy rips his shirt off. Uh, what was the line that he said, Trevor? I could, you can't even understand him. It's like so like he just muffles it through. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah, I know exactly what video. And then and then everyone walks away and the guy just stands there yeah. staring at his muscles. <laughs> You've never you seen have, No, seen I have old, no idea what you're so talking funny. about. Oh, God. It's yeah. So random. Well, well was it, is it the old guy that's he's here? Because it is, it is. I've seen the meme. I didn't know it was a golf thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen this. He says, uh, <laughs> this is a dude that's been to heaven. You want to test God? Come get it, shit shack. Shit stack. <laughs> anyway, so that guy rips his shirt off. Um, and the other group, just they just end up driving away. And it's like, what? This guy wanted to throw hands. He wanted to throw hands. <laughs> maybe because someone just hit into him or maybe because someone grabbed. I th- someone grabbed his ball. That's what happened. Uh, so now we're getting- Ryan, you know why that whole video exists? Because it's, it's not the 360 degree rule. I guarantee that. No, I bet you they did. I bet you they did. And he was just taking a piss or something. Mm-hmm. Um, well, here's the thing now about fall golf is the leaf rule. So I golfed on Friday and the leaf rule is in full effect. Jesus. Um, it is. I, I, you're going to find other people's balls mm-hmm. that they're not even going to know are there. So I found one that I didn't take. Uh, I also golfed on Friday. I snapped a streak. I'm back. Um, I found one in the sand. That the I just there was absolutely no one around me. I was playing solo, um, and I was like, "There's no way that this ball isn't in here," and this person couldn't find it. But I still left it because it was too odd of a place to lose a ball. So I was like, "This person's just lurking behind a tree, waiting, <laughs> waiting for me to take it, and then sprint out." And get me on fucking punked. Well, maybe, no. I mean, maybe it's the classic, like, there's no way my ball could have went that far, this far that way. Or yeah. It couldn't have went. Or, it, my ball this, had to have gone way farther than this that. This was at Prairie Wood on number eight in that shared in between yeah. fairway, which is like a pretty normal ass spot for your ball to go on. It's been 10,000 yeah. golf balls entering that, yeah. that sand trap. I was saying, unless it was like somewhere else where, like, I've done this a few times where you just slice it and you're like, I'm not even worth my time to go get it. Mm that's I do that a few times. Not me. I do that probably once around us. Like if I'm playing with other people and I mm-hmm. I hit one that's clearly out, I just be like, we're not even gonna waste our time looking for that. Yeah. Or in a scramble. If it, if it's in the shit, I'm not gonna go look at it for it. But if it's like clearly I I hooked it into another fairway, even though that fairway's a long ways, I'll go get that. Depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes yeah, I'll go get like, it if you no. can see it. In the, yeah, yeah, for sure. If you can see it, and I'll take even, even maybe if one pass. Yeah, even if it's 200 yards away. And I can see that ball. I'm going to go get it. No, me too. Me too. But if it's like... I don't think Trevor is. I think Trevor's saying he's just going to fucking leave it. Depends on how it is. There's a one time when I was playing, I sliced one like over water. And it was like on this other fairway, like right in the middle. And I was like, no, not worth my time. <laughs> no shit. So you Yeah, because g- there's that rose on hole six where you try to go like over the water. Sliced it over the water on the other side. And I was just like, I'm not walking around the water. Walking back around the water. <sighs> When you and your buddy, you're, you got you and your buddies are the type of kids who like you playing the most expensive golf balls. I'm sure you got like you have the most expensive set of clubs, and you're just like ah fuck. My my parents will buy me another box. <laughs> my parents haven't bought me shit for golf. <laughs> okay, I respect that. I really do. I bought everything I have. So. I respect that. So you play you play what I'm gonna stick with the UGs, mm-hmm. um, because if I do slice one two fairways over, then uh, I feel like I'm warranted to just leave it there. Yeah. Also, it's good marketing. Mm-hmm. Wasn't yeah. worth the time. I do think we need to get that QR code ball going. I agree. I agree. We got to put, we got to put something like, uh, uh, who's the, who, uh, I mean, the most classic click, click, clicking the link meme that it brings you. You know what I'm talking about? No. It's a uh, bar stool made a shirt. I'm not going to describe it because you guys know what I'm talking about. Do we big know guy, what he's talking about? Big guy with the big dick hanging out. Oh, OG Mudbone. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, his, you know, by his name, Trevor? OG Mudbone. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's his name. I 
Yeah. All right, let's do look a it up. Where look they it ex- up. No, OG Mudbone is a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> look it up. I promise you, the Jake, the maybe- meme of the the big guy just sitting there with his dick hanging out. I listened to a podcast where they described that guy's story. He's so, also R.I.P. He's I think dead. He died. Yeah, but he uh, his his family like they lost their business or something, and he's like, I'm gonna go pose for these pictures so we can pay rent. Oh my god. <laughs> OG Mugbone. I'm not gonna show it, but Mug Bone. His his bo- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, having a QR code that that brings you brings over. To OG that Mugbone up, yeah. would be a great one. <laughs> uh okay Tyler let us know how the how the round went on Friday it's been uh for me it, I also golfed it was it had been three weeks yeah so oh, everyone God. everyone is saying that the taking the hiatus will do wonders for you um I played the exact fucking same almost identical no. to how I played the last time it, this the same weird low hook uh I mean I still had some holes where I was fine I still got shot like a 42 or something um but it's not I guess Prairie Wood. Yeah. Prairie Wood. So it's 30, ten so. over. Sure. Um, which is a little worse than bogey golf, which I'm not I'm not saying like I played like ass. I'm just saying there was zero regression and zero improvement. Zero was, regression and zero progression. I was just exactly where I was last time I played. Nothing had changed. Because you don't hit driver a lot on that course. And the driver, as you know, was my issue at the at the uh, pro am. Um, so I don't know. It was it was pretty normal, but there was one hole that was quite possible. It was hole two. Always has my fucking number. Uh, hole two. One of the most demoralizing things that can happen to you in golf happened to me. I hit my drive. I fucking topped it 40 yards. I take my breakfast ball. I'm going to go again. I hit my second shot. Switch clubs even. Because I know that I hit my first one weird. So I'm going to switch clubs. I hit it. And what is close to as possible to the exact same shot. My ball. What my, club you switch to? Uh, so I went from hybrid to five iron. Because <laughs> it's like, well, if I can't hit my hybrid, maybe I can hit my five iron. Different mm-hmm. club, different swing. Yeah. Um, my second shot was, it might have hit the other ball. It was six inches away. I mean, it is archery season. And so we talk about this good, great, like really good grouping. But it's just like it was consistency. Just, my grouping is phenomenal. It's just forty yards and on the ground in front of me. Uh, but it's like you hit the first shot. You're like, all right, whatever. It's early. I haven't golfed in a while. Got to get the kinks no range, out. No range session. No range session. No no putting session. No stretching. Nothing. Right. Second ball will be better. The exact not not a similar shot. Almost perfectly the exact same shot and i just chuckled to myself and just slowly walked up to my ball i hit the second one because it was six inches closer but did you hit a third one no the, you should have hit a third one to see if you could do it three <laughs> times in a row i should have but i i and don't it, think i've ever taken three shots off a tee in the last few years unless like really? i put two in the water okay i was gonna say yeah i've, I've I'm like, taking a good which is pretty rare even i i mean i've put two in the water on a hole before but they're usually separate shots um but off a tee uh i'll take it back when we were playing legacy we were just on a different tee i put two in the weeds yeah but. yeah have you ever gotten to a point where you like if you're trying to hit a shot and it's like like you said it's uh 40 yard top 40 yard top 40 yard top if i'm doing that i'm just I'm just gonna keep hit. I'm just gonna keep hitting from the same spot. No, I won't. I can't. I'm, gonna, I'm not like mm-hmm. you. I've never done the the repeated mental health shot. Sure. If it, <laughs> if it's like a par three over water, um, or like I have to maybe like cut the corner or uh, something like that, and I keep going, like keep keep going, ob ob ob. I'll just keep hitting balls. There's been times where I've probably lost like s- like seven or eight balls hitting from one spot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I don't have that in me. I have a I need to move on mentality. No, mm-hmm. I need I before I move on, I need I need clarity. I mean, I think because <laughs> I know I can hit the shot. I need the clarity to tell me that I can hit the shot. Which is like quite literally the message in Tin Cup is that you need to move on. It's psychotic. Yeah. Short yeah, it's, you it's, gotta have short It's unhealthy. Memory. Um but I have seen you do that before where especially on putts, I'll see you hit a putt. 12 fucking times until you make it have you ever well it's not even no it's not i mean putting is that's one thing but it's like 
Have you ever played Thumper Pond number 18? I've never played Thumper Pond. Have you ever been to Thumper Pond? Yes, the water park. Have you seen <laughs> hole no- Have you seen hole number 18? No. Okay. So this is a classic example of, of what I'm talking about. Uh, number 18 is a par five. So you hit your drive to the corner and then you, you, you're probably going to lay it. You can't really get, get there on a second shot. So you lay up like right in front of the water and it gets you about a hundred to 110 yards with like water completely in front of you and then the green beyond it. Mm-hmm. So it's just a 110 yard shot. Um, the last time I played Thumper Pond, I hit probably seven or eight balls straight from 110 yards before I could hit the green. It was, it was. So you weren't even hitting in the water and you still hit eight <laughs> shots? No, I was hitting it in the water. My eighth shot is when I hit the green. I'm confused. I thought you were like, so it's like right an island next. green or is. Well, the, the fairway runs around the green. The uh, fairway runs around the water to the green, but you just you go straight at the hole on your layup shot, and then you just hit over the water onto the green. Okay, okay. yeah. Um, it's like Oxbow number eighteen. So gotcha. I hit eight shots to try and get over the water onto the green before <laughs> I actually got onto the green. It was fat. It was uh, shank. It was shank. It was short. It was fat. It was shank. It was finally on the motherfucking green. Did you grab a different club? <laughs> nope. No, nope, because, nope, because this is tin cup shit. <laughs> and you and my are wife, just Roy McAvoy. My wife was sitting next to me in the cart, and I just said, "Another one, another one, oh, God. another one, <laughs> another, another one." one. Uh, and then I was damn near out of seed in my in my little sand and seed deal because I, it was like I had a fucking range session from 110 yards out. Yeah, so, a, I, 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 I need that type of clarity. I, I I think I think you should challenge yourself to move on after two at once. Mm-hmm. But if you're I gonna think take two. Why not just take three? Or, or because or if you take three, then it ends up being uh-huh. eight. <laughs> Same with the drinks. Ryan, I think <laughs> I think that's a good challenge for you. Just try it. See I that? think a good challenge for you is to is to try and fix your low hook. I mean, I'm <laughs> trying, but I'm not gonna take eight shots. You don't need to get offended by this. No, you I, know, you know it's saying. unhealthy to hit nine no, shots now, in the same now, spot. But you're giving me unsolicited advice now. Right. That was a class A deflection by you. Absolutely. That was <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Kyle's just kitchen strays out here. Yeah. I'm I'm just trying to help you <laughs> mentally. But mentally, Tyler, it I mean, I think it just shows you mentally I need to hit H. I need to hit one on the green. Because that's what's good for my mental. I don't think it is because it's it's still it's still bothering you. It doesn't after the eighth shot when I get it on the green. <laughs> well, but here's the thing is that imagine how long it would bother me if I hit two shots in the water and then just moved on. Well, you wouldn't have remembered it like you did taking eight shots and running right. out of seed. And, you know, you, you, you see what I mean? If you would have just taken two shots, you could have just moved on right away. You probably wouldn't but, remember it. I would remember it because I'm like, I know I could have hit that green. I, I, I wish I could have that shot back. So on every par three, do you keep hitting it until you hit the green? No, because I'm not hitting an OB. I'm not hitting it in the water. Okay. I, I would love for you guys to look inside of my brain when it comes to hitting I don't want to. I, I, yeah, either. I don't. Is there not a you party? You wouldn't see anything except black. Remember, I black out. I black out a lot of the times when I hit a shot. But is there is there not a part of you like deep down inside that that... Like when you miss a ball like that, that you aren't just like, well, I know I'd make that if I tried or if I tried a couple more times just and just believe that without having to prove it to yourself. Because like me, if I was 110 yards out, yeah, maybe I'll hit the green one out of every, you know, five or six shots. But I know that I'm not going to do that most of the time. So I'm not even going to have to take a shot and then another shot. I'll just move on because yeah. the odds of me doing that in the first place were um, unlikely. And I'm, my thought, I'm not, but I'm not you. My thought process is like, all right, fuck, I missed the green. All right, well, maybe I can chip in from where I'm at now. Yeah. Well, part of this, too, was my balls were in the water. So I'm just dropping to where I crossed into the water, which was five feet in front of me. You know what I mean? So I also like if I actually if I'm playing by the rules, I'm technically just dropping right where I was hitting before. If we're playing by the rules, what did you get on that hole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, if, if we're playing by the rules, well, I mean, I, I mean, if you want me to count them out, I so guess. you're one and one to the two corner. out, three and four out, five and six out, seven and eight out, nine and ten out, plus your eleven in twelve out. I think probably thirteen on and two putt for fifteen. 
plus your drive and the mm-hmm. approach shot. Oh yeah. So uh, 16. 16, 17, probably in for 17. So that, par five, probably 12 over. I've, I've had 12, I've hit 12 over on entire 18 holes. Before. Yeah. That's a lot of strokes in one hole. Um, I'm sorry, Jake. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I just, I can't. I have you, I, we're not saying you can, we just, I want to know if you'll try. Yeah, I just think most I I think it also depends are. on my mood. <laughs> yeah. I think it also depends on like So, okay, I I will tell when I golf Friday, that was again, Mapleton. Mm-hmm. Favorite course in the area. Mhm. Uh best vibes in the area. Mhm. Didn't give a fuck. Mhm. Shot a 40. Hell yeah. Shot a 40 mm-hmm. through nine just played nine holes, shot a 40. Uh made hit hit a lot of fairways. Hit some greens. Putted okay. Um, but I just, I didn't care because I was also out with my buddy who golfs once or twice a summer. And I think that played a big part into it. It's like, we're, I'm just going to go out and have fun here. You, you match vibes big time, wherever you go, big time. And then it's just a crapshoot of where the vibes are going to be. If you're solo, I just need, <laughs> I mean, I think the biggest thing you like, you may have a buddy that you like to golf with, but that takes it a little bit too seriously. And I match again. I I'm a, I'm good at matching vibes. And if someone's taking it too seriously, then I'm going to take it too seriously. So I may just need to start looking for other people to golf with. <laughs> Maybe you should, what if they had a Tinder for golfers to help you find people? We're not even going to get holy <laughs> shit, Tyler. <laughs> shit anymore. Uh, the amount of people. Dude, I had literally had that idea fucking 20 years ago. <laughs> I've literally made that. I had that idea way before Tinder was even a thing. <laughs> um, I will say, too, uh, my golf buddy that I always talk about, um, he's in a hot he's on hot water right now. Uh Oh, Yikes. he's skating on thin ice. Um, last time we played. It was him and his father. I think I told this story, but him and his father-in-law, he stiff, he stiffed me on three putt poker. So we got to the very end and his father-in-law is like, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. We, we need a deck of cards. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm out on that. We were in the parking <laughs> oh, lot. Yeah, the yeah. the this, round was fully this, done. This was like the big group thing, wasn't it? No, it was just, it, it was just there was just four of us. Or oh. no, it was three of us golfing. Um, I got stiffed on three putt poker. I, I would have had the most cards in the hand and like... I let him hear it after when, when he he decided ah, we'll just we'll do it another time. Did you do we'll, it? We'll deal the cards out another time. No, we still haven't done it. Wow. Do you save that card, right? I haven't in, uh, in text message. He's like, hey, mm-hmm. this was the card deal out. Next time we're, we're together, we'll do it. Well, I mean, we still haven't done it. So um, I, you need maybe it's a good time. Hold that mm-hmm. fucking receipt forever. Oh, I will. I will. I'm Because I can be petty like that. Uh-huh. I don't think in some instances it's good it, with the right person. Like if it was Connor, I would I would remember it forever. Yep. And be like, hey, I know it's January. You want to deal that hand out now? Yep. You remember that hand from July? Let's fucking do it. Yeah, because Connor to you is like this is that's like my buddy to me. Yeah, and it's uh, and it was like I don't care about the five dollars I would win. It's the principle of it all. Correct. And that's where I'm sitting right now with yeah. it. Yeah. So. Um, but I think, well, especially late in the season, if you want to end on a good note going into sim season, you have to be golfing with the right people. Yep. You cannot leave the last round of the year in a really bad mood on a really bad note. No, that's why every year I end my golf season with a Brainerd trip with G. Dave. It's a phenomenal you, idea. You can't, you can't end on a better note, especially because I've beaten him twice this year now. So yep. it's a there's a lot more... I would say there's actually less tension going into the final round, but there's he wants some redemption. Sure. So like he's kind of in my shoes last year, and he'll he'll deny it, but I know he's feeling it. He's sweating a lot, um, so he's he's probably shitting his pants about this week. He he knows that his seat as the king is uh, quickly coming to an end. There's a coup going on, mm-hmm. um, and it's uh, currently he's being dethroned. So he's he's pretty nervous. I, I know he yeah. is. He's also seventy five. I know he's, he's listening fun. to this right now and shaking his head no and maybe chuckling. Uh, but <laughs> you're wrong, Grandpa. That uh, I'm the king now. I'm the captain now. Um, yeah. So good luck in Brainerd this year. You're gonna need it. Um, story again from my Friday round. I almost pulled the biggest oopsie of my golf career. 
Um, oh, I didn't forget to pay or what? No, well, I didn't have to pay because I had a pass to play oh, yeah. Prairie Wood from a mm -hmm. auction, and then I got there and they're like, just save the pass for another day because Prairie Wood, like Mapleton, vibes are immaculate and yep. they are wonderful people that work mm -hmm. there. Yep. Um, I'm on hole seven, the long par three at Prairie Wood. I am behind a group of three guys. I am a solo, so I'm, I know I'm moving quick. Um, I, and I catch up to them on this one and I see that their carts are off to the left. I know where the tee box is. I see their carts. They're off to the left. I don't see people. I put my ball down. I tee it up. I hit my ball. Thank God I hit it shitty because I look up. And they're standing on the fucking green. Wait, wait, wait. Can you okay? Can what? you can you lay this out? Just a uh, quick, uh, ten second vert. Lay this out again for me. Hole seven. Hole seven is a par three. Okay. One hundred and ninety five mm -hmm. yards. Yep. I get to the tee box. There's a group in front of me. I see their carts off to the left at the next tee box. Yep. No. Which is a standard, actually a standard place to park. To go back onto the par three. Correct. Green. I just did not think because <laughs> yeah. this is where I caught them. So it wasn't like I was behind them the whole time. That I caught them on this hole. Yep. And so I look, I see the carts. I was like, okay. I put my ball down. I hit my ball and I didn't hit it good. Thank God because I look up and they're all standing on the green. And I'm like, <gasps> my fucking, my heart dropped a little bit. My gut clenched. And then I see my ball land safely nowhere near them because I hit a fucking terrible shot. And actually, no, 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 hook. no. So I hit my shot, right? And it was so <laughs> shitty. I didn't even look at the green. Low hook. So I uh, kind of not really. Okay. Um, it was more of a like a, a stinger that got caught up in the grass. Sure. Um, I hit it so bad that I, I didn't even look up. I went to go get another ball. And then I was teeing up my second ball. And that's when I saw them. And they were all looking at me like, is this fucking guy going to hit us <laughs> twice? And I look and I was like, oh fuck raise my hand sorry sorry like you know the whole night and then i just sat there like a hurt little puppy because like i if i would have hit that good they would have been so fucking pissed and rightfully so i yeah. mean you were tense out you're yeah. you're one good five iron away from ending up on fucking Zyre golf. <laughs> yep and i i mean i would have apologized profusely and explained like Maybe park your carts a little bit closer to the green, so I know what which. No, hole you may just on. had to because they, they those three may have just came after you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would have, have dropped to, all three of them in like thirty seconds. But I would after may have just had I would to have run. Had, I would have apologized to them after that. Zyre Golf, ten seconds away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, it had only been two guys. Cause <laughs> it only I would have only one's had, got a video. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I would only have to fight two of them because one has to film it. I they mean, ever, have, have they ever done a sports science on like the impact of a golf ball? Like, like, uh, on like, a club? Yes. Not, like a, not, a, not a skull, though. <laughs> yeah, they should do like, I mean, they do like, like Francis Ngannou. They did a sports science on him and he's a UFC. He was a, was a UFC fighter. Um, like the power in his punch is like getting hit by a small Honda vehicle at like 25 miles an hour. Jesus. What the? So like, I would be interested to see like, I know that's you, a, I know that's a lot of weight, but I think they should have just left out the twenty five miles per hour. I know it's still a lot and hurts, but just saying getting hit a by a small Honda, Honda <laughs> sounds way cooler than a small Honda at twenty five miles yeah. per hour. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they should have just made it a right. regular sized Honda at like fifteen miles. They an should hour just leave miles leave per out. hour yeah. out. It's like being hit by a car. Or just say, a, or you could just leave out small and just say a Honda. Yeah. I mean, a small I, Honda and a big Honda is still Honda. I could tell people like, yeah, I fucking hit as hard as my Chevy Colorado, and I just don't have to tell them that it's at one mile per hour. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but, but like to like construct something like the heat, like let's just say the human skull, and like drop a ball from. A height that's going to reach the you know the correct like impact that let's say a seven iron from 170 yards out would be like mm -hmm. what that would do to somebody if it actually hit them in the head yeah i mean it, i mean it's happened yeah like that golf has events to crack and, skulls correct so i think it's there's there's x amount of yards i think it's like 20 yards or something that it would crack a skull but after that you're fine because like think about it it's, it's happened at pga events many times and like i'm sure they get a goose egg but no one's skulls cracked <laughs> Like, think about the kid that got fucking smoked by uh, Garrett Clark. Garrett Clark. The, I think he got smoked in the calf, though. No, it was right in his like, side. side. Yeah. But still, and that was only like 50 yards away. 
I mean, golf balls compress for a reason. Not I, on human flesh or human dude, on bone. bone. Though it would totally compress. No way. I think it's got to yeah. get because if you think the the speed of a the club speed on a, a person is like a hundred plus miles an hour. Yeah, isn't the ball faster than that coming out at, like, at impact? Yeah. I don't. I don't think at, at descent it's got to be. I don't know. I don't know. Your bones are like th- are thicker than wood, and think about how thin of tree branches you hit your golf ball into, and it'll still get hung up in the tree branches. Yeah. I mean, what kind of wood are we talking? <laughs> Again, it's the Honda thing. Oak. Like, yeah. yeah. Oak. <laughs> or just any trees. Like I'm. I don't know. Think of all the little tiny, thin, little skinny tree branches that you hit your ball into, and no matter what, it gets knocked down. Well, I'd say my bones are probably stronger than those tree branches are. Yeah. I mean, th- your ball gets slowed down in the fescue. But yeah. The. It, okay. Anyway, I mean, I think it would hurt. Don't get me wrong. Like, I would really. I, just, I wonder really, what it would. I wonder what it would do. I think if you're closer, twenty yards are in, potential skull fracture. Anywhere past that, you're probably just going to get either real hurt. Like I don't think your skull is going to fracture after twenty yards. No, but if you would have hit the guys in the head on the green, yeah, I they would have a real, real bad goose egg on their head. And you'd be on Zyre Golf. And I'd be on <laughs> and I'd be on Zyre Golf for shoving my driver up someone's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know who some people might like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, They'd be like, oh God, all's forgiven. <laughs> did you run into them in the parking lot or anything? No, I, I I I was like, purposely oh. trying to play nine fast so I could go say sorry and explain myself, but they were already gone. Uh one dude actually, I think kind of petty. Went to he might I don't know where he was but he just parked his golf cart in front of my truck so I couldn't leave. <laughs> really? I, I mean I I'm sure there's it was no an accident. He, he, he didn't know it was mine. Yeah. But still in my head I was like oh fuck they've got me blocked in <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna jump me. I I, I mean the, the, the you're, and the thing is the head cover off your driver like okay if this is gonna happen it's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean I would straight up his ass. <laughs> I, I, would, if I, I need were, new grips anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> I truly think that if I were to get into a golf fight I'm using my putter. As my oh, for it's the, the most dense piece yeah. of, of hunk of metal in your, yeah. In your bag. Yeah, that's the, the that's the one that I'm going going with in a fight for sure. Well, first you gotta put out a shit ton of balls and start hurting stingers at them when they're coming at you. <laughs> no, you throw the balls out like Looney Tunes with marbles, <sighs> yeah. and they're just like whoop, 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 fucking slipping on them. <laughs> I may go, uh, I may go uh, Wolverine style. I may go tease in the middle <laughs> yeah. of fingers. Who, who's gonna come after you at that point? I, I don't know. I think I would just start laughing at you <laughs> if you like hold up your hands and you got teased and they're like, fucking bring it on. Great way to defuse the situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my one friend Cody from high school said that he's never been in a fight as far as I know. But if he ever did get into one, he was just going to take his pants off and start windmilling his arms <laughs> because immediately people are like, I don't want to fight anymore. No, they're going to, I mean, they're going to run the opposite direction. It, not even out of fear either, just out of concern that this guy is weird. <laughs> well, Cody's also, he's never been in a fight because no one's ever escalated it to that yeah. point. He's always, the windmill has always just diffused everything. He's, he's got it though. He's got it in the back pocket, the windmill and no pants. That's insane. I think someone, hey, next time you guys are in a about to get into a fight on the golf course, drop them drawers, start spinning them arms. <laughs> yeah. And you'll you'll defuse it. You'll still be on Sire Golf. <laughs> yeah. But and if the cops come, just be like, yeah, I just didn't make it past the ladies' tee box. Yeah. That's why I pants were done. <laughs> I, and I just forgot to I just sorry to officer. Pull them back up. Sorry, officer. That's why my cock's out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get past the ladies. <laughs> I, yeah, but the thing is, like, nothing happened at all because I hit such a shitty shot that I was nowhere near them. Yeah, uh, I still ended up saving Bogey on that hole, though. Come on now, Bobby. But yeah, do you think anyone's ever gotten public indecency for uh, pants down, not past women's tee box? Probably once upon a time, right? That's a bullshit yeah. charge. I mean, yeah, on a golf course. But here's the thing: Do you think people ever actually follow do the rule, or has it always been like a a forever long meme? I've never seen anyone actually take their dick out. I think it's more of like a, it's got to be a bachelor party thing. Right. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe I have. And they they, they say pants down. There's mm. no mention of boxers with that. Right. Because well, no, I think if there's. Because I heard the rule before pants down that if you didn't get it past the ladies, you had to play the whole hole with your dick out. That's how I was wow. taught. Really? That's what I was taught to roll. And I'm, I'm pretty positive that I remember <laughs> my dad's friend doing it at his bachelor party when I was like 17. My dad got married when I was in high school and I was at the bachelor party. I was basically just a sober cab for the whole bachelor party. And we were playing three bears. 
which if there's a course you're going to do it at, you do it at the one where there's no one at the clubhouse. Yep. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yep. I think that happened. I can't remember. It was probably too scarring seeing my dad's friend's <sighs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Um, it's a good question. No. If you've ever had your dick out, <laughs> you may be entitled to some compensation. <laughs> yeah, you may be in jail or you may just hit that Spotify question and say, yes, I have had my dick. out." <laughs> that is a good Spotify. Maybe we'll just do a poll for that one because it's an easy yes or no. But like, have you ever seen anyone do the no pants, no or dick out rule? Mm hmm. We only for my. You friend did it group, once. We have a picture of you. Yeah, a picture yeah. of it, but your I, pants down. It wasn't but yeah. boxers were up. Yeah, pants yeah, were yeah, down. yeah, 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 yeah. And you just hit the one shot with your pants down. Yeah, that's yeah. It. I didn't play yeah. the. I didn't play the entire hole. That's what we do. I think. Are we growing out of that a little bit? I think so. Yes. I think it's maybe time for, like, if you hit, if you hit, I don't know, a forty-yard low hook twice in a row. I think it's like, hey, maybe we need a new punishment. No, that yeah. one wasn't. The the two that were really close to each other were just straight tops. Uh, so they went straight, though. What if you actually, what if, I mean, you were playing by yourself. What if you made yourself play the rest of the hole with your pants down? <laughs> uh, play such, the next two holes because you hit two shots the exact be, same. It'd be such a cry for help. It'd be terrible. Like, ah, guys, hey, look, everyone look at me. I don't have pants on and I'm playing alone. I wonder why. <laughs> Didn't get it past the ladies. Oh, silly me. I, mean, I think it's a fun way to play solo golf, uh, like kind of pretending like you're with your buddies. Just play it like you're with your buddies, even if you're solo. You're really tiptoeing the line of schizophrenia. <laughs> That's true, yeah. The cops will probably show up really quick. Um, yeah, I wonder if the... Do they have special uh, special carts at the course for cops if they show up and have to come get somebody? <laughs> no, what, if they had, no. what if they had a special cart with, like, fucking lights and no <laughs> governor on it? And it's like, anytime the cops get called they take this cart out to go get this guy it's like loaded up with a fucking dog kennel for the german shepherd yeah. it's got it's got like three pairs of handcuffs like a taser right in front i'm sure there's like a super bougie course somewhere that has like a security cart i mean yeah. i don't think they're going to have a canine or anything but i bet you they have a badass cart for security that's kind of sick, actually. I bet just TPC Scottsdale has one. When we played there, that seems like the course that would for sure have a you security team. You think they have a security team. cart? Think about it. They gotta. Yeah. Well, during tournaments, yeah. Even even yeah. regular dudes. I bet you there's a security crew. Some guy just munching mm -hmm. donuts waiting for his walkie-talkie to go They absolutely do. You can buy that. Like, Yamaha specifically sells golf carts that are already pre-badged with security and lights Hell and all that yeah. shit on them. Really? Let's go. Yeah. Can you get a video? Like, uh, can you pull up videos and s just see if if they're in any other environment besides I I don't know do they use them in like fucking Times Square or like, yeah during at parks or and like stuff? yeah parks or like or I th I th outside festivals well I think in New York they use horse cops still yeah I think mm -hmm. you're right I think you're right uh, but golf cart cop seems like the natural progression that actually be a it'd be a that would be a phenomenal movie. Yeah, they yeah. literally have a police one with lights on it and a back seat that you can toss the felons into. <laughs> <laughs> is it in an enclosed? Back oh yeah, seat? It's, yeah, it's enclosed. So yeah, you can't like even put your club. Wagon. You can't put your clubs on it, or is there a spot to put clubs? <laughs> uh, no, it does not uh, look like there's a spot. They to have put a clubs Billy on. Club on their hip. Yeah, yeah I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be funny. Like you get arrested on the golf course. Like all right, one hole playoff. Uh, the cops like a scratch golfer. It's like if you beat this cop on this one hole, you're free to go. I'd be shitting my pants. I mean, you see cops like playing basketball with people and stuff. Yeah. I would love a cop to roll up at a par three and be like, all right, closest to the pin, loser pays a citation. Yeah. <laughs> you get a you get one get out of jail free card. If if you win, if I win, I'm writing you up for a parking ticket. That'd be phenomenal. I'd be like, I'm not gonna take that fucking bet. One, but two, we'll still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have to play. Uh is there a price on these golf carts? Yeah, uh 13.5. Jeez. That really is not bad. I mean, no, like, considering no, no, all the no, shit we've looked at. Right, right. I yeah. mean, if it's low, if it's fully loaded. Does it have a Hemi? I don't uh, know shit no. about motors. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's at 48 volt. <laughs> also, it's even battery. Double 24. Yeah, 48 mm -hmm. volt, 30 gotta, amp charger. You ain't even got to worry about running out of gas. How many liters? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. That'd be what would be, would be a great movie. You got like uh, bring Paul Blart back instead of Mall Cop. It's like Course Cop. 
<laughs> and um, you, there's like this group of country club members who are peddling heroin yeah at the, at the whole nine turn uh -huh. and mm. like you know paul like yeah paul blart it's this whole thing you know? yeah that's a great sequel to paul blart Every, i mean there already paul is blart, paul blart mall cop, cop yeah. too but oh, we could, yeah we could do paul blart course cop It'd be phenomenal people aren't i mean people aren't uh they're not taking advantage of golf carts for movies golf courses and carts for movies like they could be and they're also just not taking advantage of the unbelievably fantastic franchise that is paul blart yeah yeah 100 mm -hmm. or these great prices on these law enforcement golf carts 13 <laughs> five does it come with the guns and everything <laughs> no you probably, guns gotta, you probably gotta get those yourself mm -hmm. a different sure. set of paperwork Probably could not you, quite a title. Could you mount a gun on top of the awning like a like a tank? Yeah, with one of them just buttons yeah. that you just punch the top and it yep. falls into your lap. Yep. Huh. That would be pretty cool. I would love to see one of these in action. It'd be great. Well, if you got 13.5, uh, no, like, we can I'm start just, talking. Just curious, like, where are they, where are they driving these things at? Yeah, go, to, go to a course around here. Take your dick out. <laughs> Maybe you'll see one. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um... Should we take a quick break? Yeah, we should. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. Uh, and then I got I, I got a question for you guys. Okay. I got a question for you guys when we come back. All right, gentlemen. I never uh, I never made it through the full breakdown of my Friday round. Uh, I'll give it to you right now. It okay. Was, it was really good. Um, I needed the three weeks off because I, I and I'm not sure what I'm not sure what it was about you, Tyler, but the three weeks could not have been any better for me. Good. I'm glad it worked for you. Again, no fucks given. Maybe you just gave too many fucks when you golfed. I, I didn't. I I didn't give any fucks, to be honest. Here's the one thing I did notice, though. Um, okay, so we get done with hole number nine. We are coming back to the clubhouse. And weirdly enough, I see five, six, seven of my buddies on hole. Um, buddies, I would say like, like distant buddies, guys I see every once in a while, a couple guys I used to work with. Um, they're on hole one. They're getting ready to tee off. They are in three groups of four. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And then I remember one of my good buddies I used to work with was getting married on Saturday. This was on Friday. Yep. So they were having themselves a good old pre-wedding uh -huh. 18 holes. Mm -hmm. Nice. And when I look back at my wedding, we did the exact same thing. Friday before the groom supper, we went and played 18 holes three groups of 12 guys and it was the best time ever you did the same thing correct you golfed 18 holes nine holes whatever mm -hmm. before the groom supper 18 yeah, full 18 okay yeah. so number one one of the funnest rounds of golf in my entire life mm -hmm. um i miss that kind of thing number two as i got to thinking about it it's like god some of the funnest rounds of golf that i've played have been um pre-wedding rounds either me or my buddies uh bachelor party rounds um like end of the year just like a big group of buddy type of round so like what what is your guys's favorite type of group round when it comes when it comes to golf mm. are you on the bachelor party are you because they're all different right pre-wedding is like okay well we got the we got the groom supper a little bit later so maybe you need to tone it down but you're also like with your best friends in the entire world yep. Bachelor party is like you maybe got a couple stragglers, a couple guys getting like super shit faced. Um, and everyone's kind of like gotten together the previous one or two days and like they already know each other. So it's like. See, I'm going to immediately strike bachelor party rounds out of it for me. OK, not because I dislike them in any way. I love them. Yep. They're fantastic. But because of that, some of these guys don't know each other. Like they're meeting for the first time. Not everybody at a bachelor party even likes golf. Maybe only the majority does. So like there's a, a little bit of putting a puzzle together to try and make the groups good. And it doesn't always work, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna strike bachelor party from that. Um or even like when you guys had a you had nine guys, uh nine guys golfing during bear camp. Yes, that like was that's an, also that that's also yep. included too. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna get sappy with my answer. I this is this Do is it. out of character for me. My Do favorite it. rounds of all time are just me and grandpa. No one else. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. not Interesting. A, not a single other person. Like I know the group golf is fun. I love it. I love scrambles. I loved golfing before 
uh, my my groom's supper. But just golfing with grandpa is way more fun because it's a mix of camaraderie. Like we get pumped for each other. We high five. We we bro out a little bit, you know. Yeah. As much as an old man can. Mm -hmm. We drink some beers, but it's also you can take in the scenery. It's also fun memories to build with grandpa. Yep. And it's also competitive at the same time because we want to beat each other. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So those those are the most fun rounds I've ever had are just me and grandpa. Like so I, Myrtle I, Beach two years ago, this is not a dig on Kevin and Connor in any way because having them was fantastic. But two years ago, Myrtle Beach, when me and grandpa just golfed all over the place, was fucking awesome. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I love the answer. Um, I can't relate because I don't. I I don't have a grandpa that I golf with, mm -hmm. um, but I can only imagine that it's 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 like the pre wedding round. Yeah, it's sick. So I guess the question is like, what's your ideal group to golf with? I think mine. I think it has to be the pre wedding round, whether it's myself or it's a buddy, because again, the groom supper is usually the day that everybody arrives. So maybe the first time you're seeing some groomsmen coming in from out of town or some like some really close college buddies you haven't seen in a while mm -hmm. is like in the parking lot at the course dude also the pre-wedding round is better for the long run than the bachelor party Agreed. round because you're not mm -hmm. gonna murder your liver because you know you gotta <laughs> like you're gonna get drunk yep. but you're not gonna black out on hole 15 yeah yeah yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> no i'm i'm with you <laughs> so one of them might and he's gonna have a <laughs> shitty day the next day i i got really fucked up at my groom supper but it wasn't during the golf yeah, I think it's just a different vibe too. Um, like both the bachelor party and the like, let's call it the groom supper round. They're both um, like big time camaraderie. Mm -hmm. um, everybody is rally rallying around one specific person, but like one round, everybody is pretty coherent. And the other round being the bachelor party round, everyone is probably sh shit faced. Yeah. 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 But I, I did the before the wedding like hours before the wedding round once Damn, that was really fun no that, that was really fun no one was getting you know shit can canned or yeah. anything like that it was just like it's nice and early in the morning today we're gonna go get our muddy our buddy married today yeah. and just enjoy the morning and like see i feel like i'd be stressed mm -hmm. a morning of for sure round, dude. because it's like we got to get the groom back guys uh -huh. like we're gonna get in so much trouble from the bride if we don't get him back in time oh. like the venue was the where we golfed at was the venue. So we were good to go. OK, so at yeah. any so moment you, you could have left golf. Yeah. At any like we, he, they they literally got married like right next to the 18th green. OK. And, and at, then at that any, helps. At any moment you could have left the wedding to go golf. Yeah. That also. Did is you bring your well. sticks to maybe in during the cocktail hour? Go play a few holes. Well, yeah, no. Right in the middle of the ceremony. I left the groom's party Smart. just up in the middle and just started putting around on the 18th, you know. If you ever go to a wedding at a golf course, you have to bring your clubs <laughs> with. <laughs> no, that I think you should just bring your clubs anywhere you go because you never know what's going to happen. Like, Ryan, do you, you normally just keep your clubs in the back of your truck, right? Typically in the back seat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I Tyler. mean, that's also a good question, too. Where, I mean, where do you keep your clubs? Back seat, bed of the, bed of the truck, or like trunk of the car? I got it. It depends on what you drive too. I mean, I my I have a Colorado and the cab size and a Colorado is fucking teeny tiny. So box of the truck at all times. Really? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. What if you were to live on gravel? I do have some gravel next to me. She gets pretty dusty every once in a while, but hey, they don't uh they don't make clubs not to get dirty. So the people wear iron covers, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I didn't mean don't go fuck yourself. It's just a dumb move. Yeah, yeah. Don't take it don't don't use your driver. Don't come at me. I don't need <laughs> <Yeah>. it today. <laughs> um, no, I, I was just... Well, okay, so back to like uh, ideal group. Um, well, for me, I'm in a different situation because I've only been to one bachelor party like you guys. You are yeah. young. You'll, yeah. you, pretty soon, you're going to be going to a million. And then haven't had any pre-wedding rounds, so I guess mine would probably just be like we have a group of eight guys up here in Fargo and we all are like pretty like golfers. Like They're all pretty good and actually like around the same skill level. So probably when we get do two v twos and four v fours when we get up with that. So I'm kind of jealous because uh, I didn't I didn't really golf when I was your age. Mm -hmm. um, back in the day, I was in golf and I was in the mines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we so used like, wood clubs. So we didn't like I didn't get the chance to do to go out like with big groups before everyone got married and before everyone had kids. Mm -hmm. So like my I mean my favorite round is 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 the bachelor party, the pre mm -hmm. things like that. Because we can go out and do it like 
whenever you want. Yeah, there is much. something that is special though about the impromptu big group. Oh my mm-hmm. god, dude! Like even just the just four guys, even the impromptu four guys, all of a sudden vibes are perfect for the whole weekend. Everybody's playing well, like the Mapleton round this year. Like that's up there for sure. Even with the bachelor parties and the pre weddings, mm-hmm. like there is something to be said about it. And like especially when it's kind of thrown together last minute and then everything just clicks and works. Everyone can make it. Everyone's pumped. Everyone plays good. Like it happens probably, I would say the stars align for around like that once a summer. Once a yep. summer, yep. for sure. And you can't, um, it, you can't, it has to happen naturally. Mm-hmm. It can't, it's nothing that can be forced because if it's forced, then it's just, it, then it's not what it, uh, what it's meant to be. Right. It's not the impromptu round, mm-hmm. but I a hundred percent agree. When, when it's like, maybe you got three guys and you just out of the blue hail Mary shot to a buddy you haven't seen in a while. Hey, any chance you can golf in 12 hours when we have an 8 a.m. tea time? And they're like, yeah, actually, I'm in, I'm in town. Like, I, I have nothing going on. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll come on with. That's the type of shit yep. that's the best. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. I got excited. Now I, I want to go do that. So, but you can't force it. You can't, you can't force, force it, though. It. You can't You can't force it. Um, I was jealous of of uh, the guys that's on on the first tee box. Because um, you weren't invited, or <laughs> no, I was jealous because I know, like, I know how fun that round was for them. Um, and like, each cart had a fucking cooler underneath of their arm, and they're walking. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew exactly what was going to go on. Mm-hmm. I knew that nobody there gave a shit about how they played, and they were just there to celebrate. You know, the guy, their buddy, getting married. That is sweet too when you are the groom. And <laughs> there was a couple of times, this is another sappy shit for me. Like at my bachelor party and my groom supper around, I just took a second, stood back, like, look at all these people I brought together. For real, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what it look is. At all, look at all of my friends from childhood hanging out with my friends from college. And they're all vibing together. They're having a good time. My friend from work's here they're hanging, hanging out, out with my, my friend s- from high school. Hanging out with my 75 year old grandpa. Yep. Yeah, good times. It's the best. Uh, group, uh, you can't beat good group golf. And I mean, even looped in there too is just like, is just scrambles in general. Yep. Um, we still, the, the pro is the only scramble we've played this year. I think there's maybe a couple October scrambles that we, I mean, we got to get into one of them. Yeah. I mean, we can't count the pro as our scramble because it wasn't. Mm-hmm. That's true. I missed the f- That's nine true. holes. Yeah. It was a shamble. And it also too. wasn't a scramble. It was a, sh- a sh- shamble, you said? Shamble, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of one of five net shamble. Um, God, dude, we just might need to title this one the sappy episode because I'm about to get into it again. Do it again. Go on. I was watching Welcome to Wrexham last night. What's that? It is uh, Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds bought a, a really low level soccer team in Wales. Yep. Right. And they're trying to get promoted and they lose a game in the beginning of the playoffs, right? It's a road game and the fans from Wrexham refuse to leave the stadium until the players do because they know the players played their asses off. They had a, a bad break, didn't win the game. And I was just thinking like sports, I think from a cynic are silly, right? It's a little game that means nothing in the grand scheme of life. Yep. But people care so fucking much about it. There is nothing else in the world other than sports. They can get 60,000 roaring fans all caring about the same thing or get people even on a small scale like golf getting people from across every era of your life in the same spot doing the same thing having a good time like sports can do so much for the human emotion and I think it's fucking incredible that this any tiny little silly game that does not matter to anything happening in the world Make people care so much about it. Mm-hmm. It's fucking wild. I think if you try to get people over for like a barbecue, right? Like if you tried to get that same group mm-hmm. to your place for a barbecue, it just it it wouldn't happen. You get you want to get that same group over to watch a playoff game for a team you all care about? Done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, just sport and job. I mean, it could even also be fishing. It's like which I would fishing. Cons- it's technically a sport. Fishing is sport, yeah. I would say. Um, yeah, but it, like, isn't it weird that? You could, if someone asked me, like, is fishing a sport? I would be like, it's not sports, but it is a sport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because you can fish for sport or you can fish for leisure, right. or whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but like imagine landing like your PB largemouth bass with your fucking buddy from high school or like your PB catfish with your grandpa. Yeah, that stands whatever. for personal best for, for people best. that don't speak Ryan. For people <laughs> who don't speak uh, sport for f fishing for sport. Um, but like that shit like that also brings people together. Yeah. It's about the memories, right? Um, I remember watching the Vikings, uh, the Minneapolis Miracle. I was at Pub West and I was literally, um, I was ground and pounding the chair next to me <laughs> when Stefan mm -hmm. Diggs ran. Every one of us knows exactly where we were when that happened. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's, that's, uh, that's sport. Yep. But also you can't force those, you can't force anything there. Nope. It just has to happen naturally. Yeah, and it's like all of us, when we told about our favorite kind of round, thought of one and we mm -hmm. can recall shots from it. And we yep. can recall how we felt during it. Mm -hmm. Shit's nuts, man. Yeah. Like every cool round of golf I've had like that, where it's camaraderie and the vibes are good. And I, I can, I remember shots from everyone. I remember shots from the old man Iron Man in Pine City. Yep. I, I remember shots from me and Grandpa Dave playing last year at, in, at Craigans. I remember shots from, from my dad's bachelor party 12, 15 years ago now at Three Bears. Yep. Like you remember all that shit and it's weird. Nothing else. Does. I can't, I don't remember what fucking happened mm -hmm. hanging out with my friends in the shop in high school. Yeah. Like I remember a handful of things, but not like I can recall a round of golf from 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, speaking of like one of the most memorable rounds was the round before, before I got married. It was Friday before I got married, Saturday. Um, my buddy... One of my best friends from college flew in from Oregon, got there that day. Uh, we hopped in the car to go to the course and it, we were just playing like two man scrambles. Mm -hmm. There was 12 of, we had six teams. There was 12 of us. And I think it was like hole 13 at Balmoral. If you go over the green, it's basically just like a big ass, like right on, right off the collar of the green. It's a, it's like a big ass hill. Mm -hmm. So if you hit it up on that hill, you're chipping downhill onto the green which is also downhill and then Pat, <laughs> this is like, a dangerous chip, on the yeah. other side of the green like like farthest away from you is then downhill to the fairway so like you could be fucked okay so of course we went long on the green we're like on the side hill and it's like a touch chip like six inches in front of where the ball is laying to land it and then like hopefully roll up softly mm -hmm. my buddy who never golfs um this is a birdie chip and there's no way we get in for birdie. We're probably going to bogey or double this hole. Uh, he chips it. It's tracking. It's tracking. It hits the pin, drops in. Hell yeah. And everyone goes nuts. And everyone goes nuts. Even your opponents. Correct. And yep. I, I won't, I will never forget that shot. Mm -hmm. And does group, that, group, does, go ahead. And does that shot matter to our lives in the grand scheme? No, but we'll always remember it and cherish Correct. that shit because mm -hmm. sports are fucking crazy and I can't get over I just can't get over the idea of it. And I think that's why uh, that's why golf is so much better played in a group mm -hmm. than it is playing solo. If you watch the Pine to Palm video, I said it flat out. I said golfing with the boys is so much better than tournament golf. Because, I mean, when I hit, when I had the absolute atrocious hole where I, I duffed it, I chipped it into a divot, I flubbed it, whatever, and mm -hmm. then I chipped in, like... Yeah, you guys kind of celebrated with me when I chipped in, but you also didn't care because you had your own score to play for. Yeah. Now imagine if that was a scramble mm -hmm. where us four, like where we chip in from off the green, us four as a team. Yeah, because in, in that moment, it was like, a, oh, my God, I can't believe that what that would just what just happened. Yeah, because it's like a mixed emotions. Like, are you happy for Ryan because he chipped in or are you sad for Ryan because he chipped in for bogey? Correct. Yeah. And if we were playing in a group setting. I would have been high fiving and chest bumping and whatever. Mm -hmm. And if golf's not fun for you anymore, you just gotta start playing as a group. Yep. Because then you got buddies to lean on. Team sports are way better than individual sports. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I would agree. Way better than solo golf. I mean, think if like, uh, what if? Imagine if UFC was a team sport. You got four. You got eight guys, four v four in the ring at one time. That'd be fucking electric. That'd be fun. <laughs> one guy's no, getting no. choked out, and his fucking teammate <laughs> no. comes up and just starts ground and pounding the other guy. I genuinely think it would be sick if they had some sort of team format for the UFC, like they do for wrestling. It'd be phenomenal. Because yeah. duels, I like duels in wrestling hell of a lot more than individual tournaments, yeah. which is 
I mean, I'm not going to get too deep into wrestling talk, but I hate that the upper echelons of wrestling are not team. It's all individual stuff. Well, yeah, and you like you have American Top Team, and you have City Kickboxing, and you have all these like gyms that are essentially teams. Right. Throw you th- one fighter per weight class, and you do a duel. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, or, it, it is a little different with like the bodily harm. You can't do too many of them. You don't want to waste a good fighter on a on a duel, if you will. Right. But, right. Yeah. Or we could just do UFC Royal Rumbles. That would be sick too. Yeah. Throwing people up and over out the cage. <laughs> the poor sick. referee. <laughs> that poor referee trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Uh, I think I think this is all good though. Um, leading into the Ryder Cup. Yes. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. The only downside of this entire this comes out on yeah. Wednesday, Trevor. Ryder well, Cup it's starts. Friday. Doesn't it start Thursday? I think it's Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So oh, yep. it's only three days. Yep. Yeah, the first Wild. day, Thursday is like a big PR day, like celebrities and families and okay. like the, yeah. like the, it's similar in vibe to the par three tournament of the Masters. Gotcha. On Thursday. One, well, and, and that's why the Ryder Cup is one of the most sought, like sought after tournaments in golf, just in general, is because it's team golf. It's yeah. like, it's USA mm-hmm. against Europe. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that's the why biggest it, miss, the absolute biggest fucking miss that has happened in Ryder Cup history is not having the 18th hole in the Coliseum. It's in fucking Rome. That is true. <laughs> Don't even need to put grass in it. You just just leave it how it is. Incorporate some Roman shit. Just like dig a big hole in it. Like if you make it in like a, the big eight foot by eight foot hole inside the Coliseum, then like you, then you're in for birdie. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the River Thames that flows through Rome, correct? No, I think that's the one in the uh, Thames River. Yeah. River Thames. Ten- well, no, I think yeah. They call it the River Thames in all the all the all the <laughs> <Okay>. stories. Fuck <laughs> uh T H A M E S. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say I think that one's in like either London or it's the Tiber. Yep. Ah, the t- yeah, that's yep. I I knew it was the Tiber. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Have a hole with that fucking thing running through it. That's it's like literally in a hundred Greek myths. You could, uh, yeah, it's or Roman it's, myths. Excuse it's like me. the Olympics, really. It's uh, you know how they construct all of these Olympic stadiums, like for the one year that this mm-hmm. country is holding it, and then they all go abandoned after that. Like, just make a golf course with crazy shit like that, and then I mean, I would assume a lot of people will want to golf it after the fact. But if yeah. it goes abandoned, yeah. it goes abandoned because that's what every other fucking stadium in the Olympics does. Yeah. This is basically, this is almost the Olympics. Mm-hmm. It's I not, could, but. I mean, if golf, if the Olympics just didn't already have golf. I know. Yeah. I would love for them to do a <laughs> yeah. world competition country versus country in a team format, not like they do individually. Correct. Yeah. Because like the way they do the golf in the Olympics, it's just another four day tournament. Yep. Individuals, you represent your country. But it's like all of America can get behind Team USA mm-hmm. and all of Europe can get behind Team Europe. Um, all of America well, can't. Europe's a continent. Are we doing the Olympics thing or are we talking about Ryder Cup? No, now? just Ryder Cup. Sorry, okay, Ryder sorry, Cup. Sorry, yep, sorry. Yep, yep. Um, but just in like a an individual stroke play tournament, all of America can't just get behind Jordan Spieth or Ricky. Like it's just like. Yeah, we got to pick. We got to pick correct. which American yeah. we want to cheer for. And then now we're all against each other. I want Ricky Fowler to win. You want Jordan Spieth to win. Mm-hmm. You want Sky Chef. It's like this is the best tournament in the entire world for golf it's yep. better than the olympics because mm-hmm. the you guys know who won the gold medal correct Shoffley. xander Shoffley. Yeah. um but i can't remember if really, that was the last olympics or not though no idea. that's really all you know about the olympics from this previous olympics yeah you don't know who got second third fourth. it doesn't matter nope but we are gonna know when it comes to Ryder cup time who's beaten who what two v twos are going to be the best? <laughs> then okay, there's some dumbass sports in the Olympics. Some dumbass sports, terrible sports that have like you could. They're literally competing for Olympic gold, and there's 14 people there. Mm-hmm. What if, if they're adding stupid ass sports like broomball? No offense to my broomball players out there, but you know that sports ridiculous. Why not just do a beer, a four man beer scramble in the Olympics? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, no drinking beer, but just a four-man scramble in the Olympics. They do they do different track events. There isn't just running. Yeah. yeah There's right. running different. There, there could be different golf events. Why not have a four-man version where 
if you want to go play in the individual golf tournament, you can, but there's also the four man scramble tournament. That's fucking sweet. Mm, that would be actually. sick, actually. You got I mean you have so many options. You have individual stroke play, you have individual match play, mm-hmm. you have um two man best ball. And you Ryan, have four man scramble. Ryan, like track, you could also do a medley, which is just rider cup format. You have six six six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could also do gold medal three putt poker. Could do that. Yeah. Well, why? Also, why aren't they implementing like nine or eighteen holes into the uh, whatever? It's the shooting and cross country. Like you know how they have shooting and yep. then cross country skiing. Yeah, what is that called? Yeah, uh, I know. I don't know, but it's cool. It's like it's sweet. It's like, t- but it's also like a guys weird weird sport like why what? why did you decide cross country skiing and shooting are combined i think it has something to do with some tradition it's I the biathlon biathlon yeah. yeah yeah it's it's you got to control your heart rate while you're skiing and then go and shoot at whatever i'm not i'm not discounting the difficulty of that because i think it's no me either i probably extremely difficult mm-hmm. but also she's like how the fuck did we invent that yeah well, okay, here's the other thing, too. It's like, I don't know. This may not even per- pertain to it. Um, I was at a wedding a few weeks ago, and uh, my cousin, had they had a foreign exchange student from Kazakhstan, uh, which is, like, connected to Russia. Mm-hmm. Um, where and Borat's I, from. Yeah, it's where Borat's from. Uh, when I asked him, I said, I said, do you guys golf in Kazakhstan? He said, he said, nobody golfs in Kazakhstan. Nobody golfs in Russia, either, unless you're super rich. Huh. So... It's kind of like, it's like early 1900s golf in America. It just hasn't evolved into like the middle to lower class sport in these worldwide. other. Yeah, worldwide. In but some I, of these other countries. Yeah, and I mean, all those countries though, like you don't play sports unless Correct. you're rich. Yeah. So like they could still field an Olympic team. Exactly. And that's why I, I said that this may not even apply. But I just thought that was interesting too. It's like, for me, I just already assume that Golf is, it's spreading worldwide like Accessible, it has in, yeah. in America since COVID, but yeah. it, but it hasn't. Unfortunately, so rich man sport. Bitches. Best week of the year, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ryder Cup week. Uh, Finally, even though I thought it was the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, me too. I literally put the Ryder Cup logo in our thumbnail on YouTube last week. <laughs> you so did. I did. Well, it's a, it's more of a two week build up. Yeah, you know? um, we're just really the boys, excited. Mm-hmm. The boys. The boys, uh, you know, the American squad, they had went to Rome like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Two they, or three weeks we got to assimilate to the time. Yeah. Jet lag. Mm-hmm. So the other thing is. I think that's why I thought it was. Because everyone was going there. Everyone already. was going there, yeah. showing them in Rome. I was like, oh, sick. It's starting. And there's no golf events going on other than live right now. There's the there's a DP World Tour had a tournament like two <laughs> weeks ago or a week ago. Yeah. I had no fucking clue. I, ever. I, okay, let me rephrase it. There's no golf events happening right now that I care about. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep. right. Uh, it's just a weird time of year, too. It's like I'm not with football on Sundays. I'm not going to turn uh, this, you know, Sunday of the tour championship. Th- this this will be the one weekend mm-hmm. of the entire football season. I do. Yep. Well, well you got to turn it on at like are, three in the morning. Are you, though? True. I'll watch it in the morning before kickoff at noon because it'll have. I'll get the last four holes right. Hopefully, yeah. So it starts at like what time? You fill fill them in if people want to watch the Ryder Cup, Trevor. It's like the the absolute ass crack of dawn. One a.m. It starts. Oh my god. Okay. So we're we're Central Time. So let's talk Central Time. Central Time. We're an hour behind Eastern Time. Um, Friday to Saturday. Morning foursomes, twelve thirty-five a.m., twelve fifty. Afternoon four ball starts at their afternoon four ball starts at five twenty-five our time. In the morning, yeah, in the five twenty-five Eastern. That's actually not oh well, five twenty-five Eastern. No, that's four twenty-five. Five twenty-five Central. Okay, and then that's uh, actually not terrible. No, it could be worse because you could wake up at six thirty and you and you could you catch the last yeah. twelve holes. I actually prefer that for Sunday. What time is Sunday? Sunday singles first match. 4.35 Central Time. That's perfect because I can wake up in the morning, I can watch the rest of Sunday and then watch the Vikings at noon. Okay, this is actually going to shape up pretty nicely. Don't this we also have better than expected? Don't they also have the uh, overseas game for football this Sunday that starts at like 8 or 9? I don't know. I think they do. Who's playing in London? 
probably a shit team that doesn't matter. No, uh, is it is it Miami and Kansas City? Miami, Kansas City would be tight. I don't know. Miami's the best team in the NFL. You heard it here first. They're of no fucking joke. They're the real deal. None of this is a fluke. Tyreek Hill should have been the number one fantasy pick in every single league out there. Yes. Yep. This Sunday is Jags Falcons at 8.30 a.m. Which are the Falcons actually kind of good? They were 2-0, but I don't know. They they, they lost to the Packers this weekend, I believe. They're not that good. 2-1. Competition. All right, we're not going to get into football talk here. We're not going to talk fucking Falcons right yeah, now. Yeah, let's end yep. it. Um, guys. Oh, shit. Welcome back to the podcast, oh, episode shit. 156. I'll throw the intro music right here. Um, we're back. And now we're gone. <laughs> uh, you got to set your alarm clocks Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you're up at 4 or 5 a.m., you're going to probably catch a lot of golf. If you're up at 10, 11 a.m., you're probably not going to catch a lot of golf. But it's Ryder Cup week. It happens once every two years. Just just bite the bullet. Get up early. Go to bed early. Cheer on Team USA. I'm going to have my jersey on. Ricky Fowler is my boy. I'm wearing official Ryder Cup gear that was purchased at the Ryder Cup that I lost the sweatshirt string of. I may just... Uh, I may... Are they opening bars in the U.S. early? Some bars are just open already then anyway. Yo, bar close. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, true. Here's the thing. Clubhouse bars, great way to get people in the door. Yeah. Great way to get people mm-hmm. to come in and buy food and buy drink. Well, I, is there a certain time you can you can't start selling drinks? I don't until? know. There is a couple. There is a couple bars in Wisconsin. We've done either bar tours or bellied ups at that open at six a.m. Well, fuck. If there's a bar that opens at six a.m., this is the best weekend to go mm-hmm. to the bar at six a.m. But then when it and 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 <sighs> Sunday is going to be Saturday or Sunday is the day for that because then you can transition right into college football because if you if you get drunk and have to leave at noon then, you, then you're, you're like well what do I do for the next ten hours you can also mm-hmm. take a nap yep they sh- they could have like little cots at the bar you can nap <laughs> <Yeah. down. laughs> uh, anyways get the alarm set it's Ryder Cup week it's one of the it's the best week out of any two year span. We love you all. See you next week. Love you. Love you. See ya. They piped that the wrong fucking way. I'll call the clubhouse. We'll book another 18 for tomorrow. Okay, they cheated on that. They fucked their balls. Yeah, no better time for the breakfast ball than now. <laughs>